Zippo and Knights. They sent me another goodie. Oh, wait, let me let me try to open it all professional. Is that upside down? No, nah, this one's fire too, though, but we got two of these. Shout out to Zippo and Knights for the lighter. And they the other day sent me a freaking charging station and hand and hand warmer. So I can charge my phone and uh warm my hands up, which is nice, especially at cold venues at tournaments. Shout out Zippo, shout out Knights. <laughs> Other than that, people were like, we want you to break down your matches with Ninja. In particular, the uh, Tremor cameo dropped in between, I think, me winning the tournament I won to qualify for this event and this tournament happening. I haven't played in shit since. Not too long before this, like I couldn't do the optimals and it was just because I was too lazy and wasn't really playing. I also really like Tremor in this matchup for the reason that I can actually call Tremor in neutral randomly while I'm throwing projectiles and he will take and absorb the hit of the fireball that nin uh, Ninja aka Liu Kang is throwing at me because uh I do not like this matchup at all. I actually thought Reiko lost this matchup with Darius, but having Tremor actually helps in two, three different ways, which actually makes this matchup a lot more, not favorable, but a lot more endurable, I would say. Got my ass waxed first round. Let's ignore that. So Liu Kang is broken for this reason. He can full combo throw you back. And if you tech the throw, he can do this little dumb tech where he summons Lao to teleport him to the other side. But since I was woke on the tech, I up blocked it the very first time he did it. I made him have to immediately move to layer two, which is like empty jumping and grabbing or something. But he did it right here. You'll see him teleported when I tech the throw. But for some reason on big bodies, when you tech, you have to actually do this tech in a different time and you have to do it faster. It's weird. So he it up and I up blocked him. Boom. Got the punish on the first time he did it. Cause I know about the tech. I do the tech. So immediately after I got entered right there, I've gotten entered. I think at this point three times. I I was like, I gotta stop jumping. I gotta stop jumping. You just want to jump them, you know? what I'm saying get the punish. Oof. Let's go back because he. So he was conditioning me so much to stand still with that movement and those fireballs and anti air me that he was just like, I'm about to grab. This. It's not that I read the grab, but I definitely. Come on. I'm just saying. Got the whip punish on the grab, and I just so happened to have a uh, tremor and fatal blow, and I was able to finesse this round. That man had half life and ended up losing this whole round because he went for a grab at half life fighting games. Right now, I'm kind of just zoning back and forth with him, trying to build meter, trying to kind of demand the health lead back. I hit him with back two, which is plus A, and then I jailed it with stand one, and for some reason, he like wasn't blocking like i don't know if he was trying to armor micro duck mash but he got he, he kept getting hit by that and that was another thing ninja kept doing this setup on me and i kept getting hit by it and freed up by all bracket was he kept throwing the low hat and jumping in on me at the same time trying to mix up the timing on whether the jump in or the low hat would hit first and it was kind of annoying whiff punished for poking i like it he gets okie right here i read the throw he did the teleport I knew about the tech and then he just died. I don't know. These rounds were going by so crazy. Anytime Ninja got mixed overhead low a little too many times, he was immediately waking up buttons like it's because he got six frame normal. So it's like not much harm in doing that. If I'm off by a little bit, I'm about to get full combo like right here. Sweep overhead and then he wakes up buttons. like I'm like, I should have just admitted him. Every time Ninja tried to like take his turn back with a poke, I was pretty on point about knowing when he was going to do it and then poking him back and getting the punish on it. I think nine. So right here, boom, he staggers, then he pokes. I block the poke, I punish. Look, it says punish. And then off the punish, I get hit advantage. And then guess what I do? I scoop. I don't know why I didn't do the combo right there. Oh, bro, what? Oh my God, I forgot that that round went like that. I was like, damn, I choked. Oh my God. Oh man, that sucks. So I did that. I did stand three instead of stand three, four, because I was trying to fatal blow him before he got the breaker. If you look at his meter in the bottom, right? He was about to get the break if I if I put too many hits in that combo. And then it just dropped. I'm like, bro, that would have never dropped with Darius. That was like a tremor only drop. And then I lost because of that. Bro, that was literally like a tremor drop not like i could i've done that combo a billion times that same way with darius yeah i just gotta understand like these, these people at the highest level they're still 
human. Like right now, he has a 65% health lead. I have a 10%. Like he could really just back off and just sit here throwing fireballs at me for the rest of his life. But instead, he went in, got that, got that that foot clip right here. Should just been running. And then he comes in. Oh my God! You can literally see him come forward and then me go backwards. All right? He comes in. I walk back with punish. All right. And then I put I I summon crystalline so that if I hit him, and then he wakes up, I block it. Then I bait and then I wait for him to do the Kung Lao teleport because I'm like, bro, everybody who does anything unsafe, they call Kung Lao to try to make themselves pseudo safe. It's not safe though. Bait the wake up. He doesn't have to do this wake up. He just wants to kill me and then I bait the the telly and then I punish you know and I do the optimal punish for like an airborne conversion and I have to spend it yeah like that's not gonna kill if I don't spend it you know people make mistakes you just gotta capitalize off of them it's just that players like you know Sonic and Ninja their their mistakes don't come so often when they do come you gotta seize the opportunity and then now I'm like I don't gotta go in and then I get yeah. What happened right here? I didn't know what kind of Oki he got. I think I just like try to wake up back there thinking he would like not be deep. And he meeted me. I'm looking at health points. I'm looking at it all. I know how much damage my character does. I see 24% health. I know one scoop will kill. I look at his meter. I see he has no break in the bottom left. I'm like, if I manage to get my filthy paws on this fool, he's not going to be able to break. Like right here, I'm also trying to flaws block projectiles so I don't just get flat out chipped out. Because I don't have meter to take last breath. I don't know if you guys know how last breath. I'm not even going to explain that. Flawless block that. Once I flawless block that projectile, I'm like, go in. He's going to start peeping, then I'm trying to rob this. That's why my rob rate is so high, because I try to rob people before they realize they're about to get robbed. This isn't even a rob, though. I just... Oh, my God. I ain't going to lie. That was crazy. But anyways, I dash up and grab him, call Tremor, and then... Yeah. No Raiden players thinking this hard when they're playing. Like nobody is thinking. Like I'm thinking about so much when I'm playing this character. Like I'm thinking way too hard here, bro. Like well, he's out here trying to. I mean, they're thinking hard too. Rako's not easy to win with, but he's really hard to fight against. Cause I can't sit here and act like when I'm knocked down versus any Rako that I'm not guessing for my life. I got an overhead that's safe coming at me, a low that's plus coming at me, and a grab that full combo's coming at me. That's pretty dumb. And I like those options. That's why I play this motherfucker. Is he dead? Oh, God. So you remember that back two? I told you guys I did back two, and it's plus eight, and I jailed him, and he kept getting hit. This time, uh, rob him out of a turn with down one. He tried to grab me. You saw he tried to grab me after I was negative two. Maybe he didn't know it was negative two. And then I back to him. Bow, plus eight. I jail him with stand one just to see if he gets hit or if he blocks it he actually blocked it this time he didn't get hit at this point all i'm thinking when somebody's at 60 percent health is like how can i get him to around 50 so i can rob this because i know i need like him to be around 50 for him to die from one scoop and fatal blow and tremor i have no bar he has two he's gonna break even if i do scoop at this point i really should just be focused on trying to get him off the bar sweep me plus three on block and it's a knockdown and then threw loud hat i was cooked so i just decided to not block and get hit by low hat and bill meter oh sweep is plus one i'm my bad misinformation propaganda and now we're just he's trying oh my god wait what happened why am i so i'm like grabbing so brave and i think uh no he doesn't die from this no 43 i'm really surprised he got hit by the stars reset the bracket here and then things just don't go the way they went this set. um i did random slide again and it worked i did like three or four random slides and they all worked i think that's another thing that caught up to me bro is overhead right here like right here i should have just meeted like i should have just forced him to wake up i should have just meeted oh my god i blocked the poke though oh. I blocked the poke, got the punish, and then he ducked the grab. That was low key maniac because I could just did over here low again. Hell of a read though. He actually did. He covered two options at once. He ducked the grab and stood block immediately to kind of try to cover the over it right here. He ducked and then stood up and then punished like. That's thirty four into. He grabbed a lot more in the reset too. He, it's not that he didn't grab a lot before the reset. He grabbed me forward. He threw me forward a lot in the reset. That was the difference maker. I was taking literally pretty much every back throw. He's like right here, throw me forward, throw me forward again. 
the forward throws are so free because the back throw is a full combo so if you do the math i'd rather take a forward throw than get back thrown for 25. so he just kept throwing before and any moment he can oh my god the whip punish and this is optimal too like this is what like 44 and he could have made it do more he just tried to build meter by putting the fireball right before the round ended in case i needed the rob oh my god yeah this combo wasn't gonna kill i knew this combo wasn't gonna kill i think me dropping i already knew i dropped it. 45 no nah, i wasn't gonna kill it started with one two as well so that scales it i was thinking so many things right here i was like this combo's not gonna kill and I was like, should I just not go for something optimal so that I can not waste Tremor? And then I think I just, let me see what I did. Spent the bar, spent Tremor on a combo that's not gonna kill. I should've did back two right there, bro. I should've did back two, got the knockdown. Cause I knew it wasn't gonna kill. And then I just dropped it all together cause I was thinking too many things. And then he did back two, three, back two, three, stand three, fatal and I died. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. So I pretty much so many slides were working round start and right here. I was like, I'm just gonna do that because I'm like, he's getting hit way too much. And then it worked. It didn't work that time. And then I ate so much. Like, look at this. This is what 35 in a safe jump into a back throw that's full combos or a forward throw that who's gonna tech that or an auto shimmy for 40. Nah. And I still teched it, bro. Oh, oh. No, this is crazy. I didn't know I did. It. Okay. So I teched it and then he did the teleport tech and then he empty jumped because I was up blocking a lot right there after the telly. So I didn't do it this time. And then he did empty jump to try to read me up blocking to throw me for more damage. And I didn't up block. And then I teched it again. And then he did it again. And then I anti Bro, that's crazy, bro. And I got three over. And then he read the throw. He was just reading that throw like crazy. I should have just stopped throwing this set. He just changed up this set how he was going to choose to defend and he also changed up and I just threw again. It worked though. Yep. And then he blocked the slide. So I, I got two slides blocked that that round. This is entertaining. He's playing really good. He's playing really good. I love that he has a bicycle kick brutal still. The thing about Luke King that makes him so busted is you don't get rewarded at all for having good defense. Like there's never a point where like your defense being better than their offense actually rewards you. I took the throw and got rewarded by getting thrown again. The offense was just really polarizing in the second set. I never really let him get going in the first set. He was getting going in the second one. Like his, like I was actually on the defense a lot more. He was guessing right a lot more and I was guessing wrong way more. Oh, I got a round. Nice. Did you think about going shell against Ninja? Not at all. I would have just got zoned. And Shao doesn't have good buttons. Lou would have had a field day with me on defense. Like, Shao has good buttons, but, like, not to get out of pressure. Shao has good buttons to keep somebody at a distance, but not to keep somebody, like, not to break out of somebody's polarizing offense. Mm. I take the throw. And I anti him again. I get out the corner. And I keep Tremor. Bro, I'm getting shimmy, bro. Look at that. I'm getting shimmy because online, the shimmy is real. You actually can't tech OS online. So you literally just get opened up by Lou a lot more than you would offline. He's still dumb, but forward four is a lot better of a button. When there's like a couple frames of delay. Bro, those forward throws. He was he switched it up so good with them four throws instead of the back throws, and he was still doing the back throws though. Oh, that was crazy! So I actually called Tremor to do to help me out. So I was calling Tremor to assist me in the zoning war. That was like a moment where I couldn't do that, with Darius. And then he read the grab, bro. Like he was on one. He was really trying to like just close it right here. He could have made that hurt more. Oh my God, bro. I'm trying to like, I'm like, hold on. I could rob. I could rob. And then he did that. Sh and then he, I cannot believe he did that. 
and then that happened. I was like, why did that happen? I've never seen that happen. It freaking dropped. I think it was because my back was kind of close to the corner. So instead of if I was mid screen, that combo literally is auto time. You don't have to time it at all. It was a two one and then it just dropped. I'm like, bro, that's break. This tremor is annoying. I should have did a different combo though. And then I just got hard to block. Hold. Sweep. He threw loud hat, jumped in low overhead dead 48. So boom, he's about to get the break. If I did the combo that spends a bar, it would have gave him the bar to break. And I would have just like, oh. this was my opportunity to kill him before he could break. And then it just dropped, bro. Heartbreaker. Nah, but definitely GG's and Ninja. That was definitely well deserved. That was in the same run. He pulled it off. COTR season two is already starting. So if you guys want to sign up for that, bro, go to DestroyerFGC. That's his Twitter at DestroyerFGC. And bro just posts the link.